This video is continuing in part of the multi-site WordPress series of videos showing you how to enable and use multi-site in WordPress. In this video, we'll show you how to create the multi-site network on your install. At this point, you should have already created a wildcard subdomain in your cPanel account and edited your wp-config.php file to allow multi-site. And here we are in the WordPress dashboard. You're going to go to the Tools menu here and expand it, and you'll see a new menu item here called Network Setup. After clicking Network Setup, you'll come to the Create a Network of WordPress Sites page uh, with some default information for you, a welcome message. And then there is a note to make sure that the Apache Mod Rewrite module is installed and ready to be used on your server. If you are using HostGator or most other hosts who allow wildcard subdomains, you can feel free to ignore this message. So the first choice you need to make here is the addresses that you would like your sites to have on your network. We're going to choose subdomains because we would like our sites to be created in this format, site1.buildwp.com, etc. And below that you'll see network details. When you look at network details, uh, you may see a warning here that asks you to change your site URL. Uh, and that happens if you have an existing uh, installation and you've used www. as the prefix you can feel free to change that site URL and to do that you would go into the settings general area and go ahead and change that. Otherwise give your network a title build with WordPress sites and I'm just going to leave that as the default and enter the admin email address that you would like uh, by default it chooses the administrator email address that you've used to set up your site so now feel free to go ahead and click install after clicking install you'll come to the enabling the network page and on this page it gives you three directions the first thing you must do is create a new directory called blogs.dir and you must do that under the WP content directory so I'm going to go ahead and copy this go to my HostGator control panel I'm going to scroll down to files and file manager and here is my WP content directory so I'll go ahead and double click that and now I am uh, going to create the new blogs.dir directory here so I'm going to choose new folder I'm going to paste in the blogs.dir it's going to tell me where it's going to be created. I'm going to choose create new folder and it threw up an error there but it looks like it did create it. So we'll move on to step two. Step two is to once again edit the wp-config.php file with some more multi-site definitions. So I'm going to go ahead and copy these go back to file manager I'm going to choose to go up one level to get back to my WP config file there it is choose code editor now you want to add these additional definitions again right above this line and right below the definition that we've already put in there to allow us to create this network. So I've pasted in what WordPress has told me to. I'm going to choose Save Changes in the upper right and then close out of here. And now I'm going to go on to step three. In step three, there is code to add to my HT access file, and that's found in my public directory. And HT access basically is the what the uh, 
mod rewrite referred to earlier, it rewrites your URLs or your web addresses. Uh, and this is necessary uh, for both regular WordPress and multi-site, but multi-site has some different rewrite rules. So go ahead and copy, and copy this uh, code. Go back to File Manager. Look for your HT access file. It's .ht access. And if you remember before when we chose to show hidden files, this is one of those files that are normally hidden from view. So we needed to be able to see that. So we're going to go ahead and choose Code Editor. And we're going to edit this file. And if there is any existing code in here from WordPress, if you have an existing uh, installation, replace the entire HT Access code with this new code. Now, <clears throat> if you've used plugins on your WordPress installation, um, specifically like a, the Download Monitor plugin, it does ask you to add um, content to your HT Access file. So make sure if you do overwrite any, um, any code that's already in here, it's just code specific to WordPress. So we're going to go ahead and save our changes to the HT Access file. and go back to our dashboard here. Now we've completed steps one, two, and three. And once they're complete, we need to log in again. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Once you log in again, you're going to see a couple of new menu items. One is on the upper left called My Sites, and the other is on the right-hand side under your username dropdown called Network Admin. And we'll go through those two areas in the next video.